Okay, so hi, my name is Ruth. I'm one of the medical students here at the clinic today, and your GP has just sent me to do a cardiovascular uh, examination for you. So what this means is that I'll be having a look to see if there's anything wrong with your heart, and everything that we discuss today will remain confidential between you, me, and your treating doctor. Um, is that okay with you? Yep. Um, and for this examination, I'll get you to take your shirt off as well. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So can I get your full name, please? Johnson. And your date of birth? 1st of April, 1999. Yep, and your age? 21. And your occupation? Uh, I'm a student. Yep, and are you a Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander origin? Yes. Yeah. Can I just now get you to take your shirt off? Yep. Um, yep. And can I just get you to lay on the bed, please? Okay. Okay, so just having a general look at the patient, um, no signs of abnormal body habitus, um, no signs of cyanosis or any shortness of breath, um, no signs of congenital abnormalities like turners, downs or marfans, and I don't see any additional equipment like ECG leads or any oxygen therapy either, um, which is good. Okay, so now just having a look at the hands, so firstly feeling for any signs of cold or sweaty palms and there's no cold or sweaty palms and no signs of Osler's nose or Janeway lesions, no signs of splinter hemorrhages either which is good, no signs of tar staining in between fingers or any signs of peripheral cyanosis and can I just get you to turn over your hands, thank you, and no signs of xanthomata along the tendons either, um, can I get you to do this for me? Yep, so no signs of clubbing around the fingers and can I just get you to turn over your hands and just going to check for capillary refill and yep, capillary refill is normal as well. And now I'm just going to check your pulse, so just going to take your heart rate um, and I would also take your blood pressure and your respiratory rate as well as your oxygen saturation too um, and then looking at radio radio delay there's no signs of radio radio delay and I would also check for radio femoral delay which is where you feel for the radio pulse as well as the femoral pulse at the same time to see if there's any um, discrepancies but we're not doing that today um, and so now I'm just going to look for the brachial pulse which is normal and I'm just going to have a look under your elbows and there's no signs of xanthomata under the elbows either which is good Okay, so now just having a look at your face, no signs of mitral facies, and can I get you to look up and look down? Okay, great, no signs of jaundice or anemia, I don't see any signs of arcus annulus or any xanthelasma. And can I get you to open your mouth and say, oh, oh, okay, oh. I don't notice any signs of a high arch palate, which would suggest Marfan syndrome, and no signs of um, petechia either. And can I get you to stick out your tongue? Yep, so no signs of central cyanosis, that's good. Okay, so now we're just going to have a feel of the carotid pulse, which is the pulse in your neck. So firstly, just one side at a time. Yeah. Yeah, great. So I can feel that it's of normal volume and character. Now I'm just going to have a listen um, over the carotid artery for carotid breweries. So can I get you to breathe in and hold? Great. Yep, great, you can breathe normally now, so I didn't hear any abnormalities either, which is good. Now I'm just going to look for the JVP, which is a pulse inside your neck. So can I get you to turn your head that way? Yep, and I'm just going to have a look for the JVP. So there it is, um, and I'm going to measure it as well. So first finding the sternal angle, and then measuring the JVP. Yep, and I see that it's less than 3 centimeters, which is normal. Okay, so now I'm just going to check for the abdominal jugular reflex, um, which is where I press in the middle of the abdomen and see how the JVP responds. So yep, that's normal. Okay, so now just looking at the chest, no signs of scars or any defibrillator boxes or pacemakers, no signs of asymmetry or any rashes, um, no signs of shortness of breath um, or any deformities like barrels, chest, funnels, chest or pigeon's chest. Um, and I don't see a prominent apex beat either, which is good. And now I'm just going to have a feel for the apex beat. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to locate it. So this is the sternal angle. So that's the second, third, fourth, fifth intercostal space. And it's in the mid-clavicular line, so that's normal. I'm just going to have a feel for any heaves with the heel of my hand. Yep. No signs of heaves as well as thrills over the four cardiac areas. Yep, 
no signs of thrills, and now I'm just going to have a listen of your heart. So, um, so first, the aortic area, okay. and then the pulmonary, and the tricuspid, and then the mitral. All right, I'm also going to use the bell of my stethoscope. Great, and can I just get you to turn to your left, if that's okay? Yeah, and I'm going to listen to the mitral area again. Yeah, and I couldn't hear any abnormalities. Great, and can I get you to now um, sit up, if that's okay, on the edge of the bed? Okay, so now I'm just going to listen to the heart some more. So, um, firstly, can I get you to uh, breathe out and hold? Great, and can I get you to lean forward? Okay, great, you can breathe normally now. <laughs> and now can I get you to breathe in and hold? Yeah, great. Okay, great, you can breathe normally now. Okay, so I've heard um, heart sounds, Jewel, no murmur, which is good. Um, and now can I get you to lie on the bed again? Okay, so having a look at the lower limbs, I don't see any signs of um, Janeway lesions, no signs of Oswald's nodes or splinter hemorrhages. Um, I don't see any signs of ulcers or any varicose veins, no hair loss. And just looking at the capillary refill. So yeah, that's normal, no signs of clubbing either. Um, and I'm just going to have a feel of the back. So I don't feel any um, xanthan mater of the Achilles tendon and no signs of um, paler of the limbs as well as edema as well. And so now I'll just have a feel of the pulses. So yep, glossalis pedis palpable. Posterior tibial also palpable. And then Hopefully it's still palpable there in the other leg as well. Yep, I can feel the popliteal pulse as well, so peripheral pulse is also palpable. Okay, so that concludes the end of our exam. Um, I would also be checking your lungs as well as your liver, but we won't be doing that for today. Um, so thank you for your time. Um, feel free to get dressed and I'll go and discuss the results with your doctor. Thank, thank you. you.